So no microphones or flashy lights for this one. I'm sad to say that my first MKS Pi is starting to uh, find its journey to meet its maker base, if you will. <laughs> uh, I think this board is failing on me. I have been getting intermittent MCU shutdowns with the timer too close alarm. And at first I thought it was cooling, so I put some fans on both of them. Then I thought it was power delivery, because I'm running off of the power coming off the boards. And so I went to an independent power. And I thought, then I thought maybe it was the Armbian version or Clipper version. So I upgraded to the latest MKS Pi Armbian that came out two weeks ago. And I'm running the latest and greatest clipper from this morning, I guess. Nothing seems to be resolving the issue. So I contacted MakerBase through AliExpress, and their only suggestion to me was buy another one. They offered a discount, but I've got, got the CB1 running right now. Actually, I'm doing some torture tests on it. I've got this print running that kept failing on the MKS Pi. I've got it cranked up to 300% with a max velocity of 300 millimeters per second. I did the exact same print on machine number two and it ran no problem. It actually ran really nice. Hold on, I'll show you. There we go. Hey, there it is. Printing out a case for the CB1 because the CB1 is now probably going to find its way into daily rotation. This was just a test print. I've been printing all of my Pi cases in PETG with spectacular results, might I add. But I wanted to do a torture test on both machines to rule out whether or not it was the Pi or if it was the control board on the machine that was fragging out but I've been running this one for the past couple of hours at this rate with no signs of dropouts or failure so I'm kind of aiming towards that being the culprit it could potentially be the EMMC unit so my last ditch effort is going to be to burn to an SD card and run off of that, run the same torture test and see if it craps out. And if it craps out, then I know that there's something fried on here. And it's only a matter of time before that one grenades. So we'll just have to take it as it comes. I've got, we've got the CB1 and I've got Renegade board and I've got the Innovato Quadra that I can connect. The unfortunate is that I can't get the Renegade to run on the UART pins, and I don't have UART pins or any kind of GPIO pins on the Quadra. And I, I mean, it's a little messy now, but I, I like not having the USB cord in the front. I do have a Raspberry Pi Pico on order that I'm going to be setting up for GPIO to see if I can get that to run. I know I can do the SPI for the ADXL accelerometer through the Pico, but I want to see if there's a way that I can get that to be my UART supply, so that way I don't have to. I can have the I can have a cord running underneath it or whatever to a to the Pico board instead of having the USB in the front. I'm not sure if that's possible, but we will see. So that was that. Rest in peace, MKS Pi, and <laughs> thanks for watching.